Cheer. You know your ABCs? Check this one out. It's a listen and A. Kia ora, I'm Celestial Serpent. We're here at Live On Love Foundation, and today I'm going to be talking about permaculture, agroforestry, and a number of other things that banners under our polymath education. So, this is the first of many videos, and we're going to start. Uh, on, on, on this particular date, which is about two and a half years in from the project. So I'm actually gonna, gonna go back and share a whole bunch of what we've been doing here at Live On Love. And today, as we're about to start our, our tours, for where people can come along and they're called grazing tours, you can learn about permaculture and plants. We're actually just setting up the car parks to allow that to happen and in the process, we are going to teach about a retaining wall. Now our retaining walls are going to be built by first of all knocking in some metal posts and then leaning up camphor laurel logs against them in a particular triangular pattern. Now we're also throwing out tin and, and other things like that down as a weed mat so when we level this area out there's going to be less growth coming back but also because we need to get rid of this stuff it's starting to deteriorate and doesn't really have much value to us so we're effectively building this wall out of all recycled materials and also materials that uh, have been laying on the site and are ready to be given a new home and a new purpose now when we were surveying the area we realized that there was a whole bunch of young fruit trees coming up and they're very they're very strong species that can that can survive drought and the other conditions that we sometimes face up here in northern rivers new south wales so this one here is known as the ice cream bean tree or the inga inga bean tree it's called inga edulis in latin it's from the fabaceae family so it is a from the legume nitrogen riching species it comes from central and south america and <clears throat> This, this species here is, is very good for regenerating areas. People often chop and drop it in permaculture because it's such a, such a strong species that doesn't really need very much watering or any nurturing to grow. Now the ice cream bean tree is also known in the Americas under the name Guama or Guaba or Quan Quil and it has many other similar species that are in the Inga family. Although some consider ice cream beans a pest, they are a very nutritious and healthy food. They're used within Amazonian cultures on a daily basis and used for medicines. When their green pods are opened, you can eat the white, flavoursome flesh and you can also cook the seeds, which are very nutritious also, uh, very similar to the seeds or the kernels of apricots. Now you can also process this food and make kachiri, which is an alcoholic beverage. So it's a very versatile plant. Now ice cream beans are good for the repairing and building of muscle mass, they reduce cholesterol, they're good for your eyes health as a high vitamin A content, they're good for cellular health, good for preventing diabetes, they're good for strengthening bones, for curing constipation, known also to regenerate broken cells. And with a high quantity of protein, they're also good meat replacements for vegetarians and vegans, and they also boost your immune system. Now there's going to be a car park right through here pretty soon, and we want to spare this young loquat tree. Loquat has a beautiful fruit, it's known by the Latin name Erebotria japonica, and this plant is thought to be originated from China 
and it's also found all through India, Pakistan, and a very large number of places, Turkey, Cyprus. Uh, this, this will grow pretty much in a neglected state also. So we're going to take these out and we're going to give them a new home. Now loquats are also considered pests and they grow very prolifically, need to be kept an eye on. But having said that, they are also very nutritious. Now they contain potassium, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin B6, calcium, iron, manganese, magnesium, zinc, copper, carbohydrates, and selenium. So these loquats are very, very healthy and good to be eating on a daily basis. Now that the earth is nice and flat, we're ready to put these plants back in the ground to help support the retaining wall over a long term. Now if you look at the roots on these guys, we've managed to salvage quite a bit of this tap root and they're ready to go back in. So come on, come on down. Now over time, this tree is going to hold up this mass with living roots and over time all of this wood is going to break down like the Hugo culture methods and it's going to be fertilization for the, the food forest of the future. Now if you come around here, all we've really done is put a whole bunch of organic compost on here, nice beautiful black soil and then we're just going to cover it up with this clay because these plants are going to be fine in these conditions. I just give them a little bit to, to start their journey. A little bit. Realize it was with you the whole time. Let your soul shine, listen like a gold mine. Be present and you'll find you there in no time. This video was brought to you by Live On Love Productions. If you want to help support us to make more free content like this to educate through polymath education, then you can subscribe to our Patreon. And if you want to come here and learn more in person, you can check out some of our courses and also come for our grazing tour. And I'll pray to the sun's rays Rising I'll raise the bar The vibrations lately are making me shift my thoughts And the way that I'm thinking this Is the next age we're facing The next generation